know that water is very essential in our daily lives. But do you know someone who considers water as a great source of discomfort? Or do you know someone who gets rashes after a contact with water? This condition known by many as water allergy is actually called aquagenic urticaria, water urticaria, or aquagenous urticaria. This condition is a type of hives that causes a rush to appear after you touch water regardless of its temperature. It can be triggered by many water sources including snow, rain, sweat, and tears. This condition was first reported in the year 1964 by Shelley and Ronsley and there are only three cases at that time. And now, there are around 30 cases recorded in the medical literature, so 1 in every 230 million people in the world has this condition. This condition affects women more often than men, and it generally starts during puberty. The cause of aquagenic urticaria, or its pathogenesis, is still unknown. Researchers are still working to know the underlying cause of this condition. But there are two theories. One, a substance dissolved in water enters the skin and triggers an immune response. Two, an interaction between water and a substance found in or on the skin generates a toxic material. But whatever the cause is, this is clearly not an allergy. This is not a water allergy. Why? Because in an allergic reaction, there are histamines released which fight off the foreign substances. While in aquagenic urticaria, there are no histamines produced. Within 1 to 15 minutes of being exposed to water, a person who has the condition of aquagenic urticaria may experience burning sensations, inflammations, welts, lesions, and erythema. The symptoms may be found anywhere on the body, but it can be found mainly on the upper body, the neck, the chest, the back, the shoulders, and the arms. Upon drying the skin, the symptoms may fade within 30 to 60 minutes. In order to diagnose a person with the condition of aquagenic urticaria, the doctor will check the sign and symptoms of the patient, and he will also conduct a water challenge test and will see the reaction of the skin to the water. As of now, there is no cure for aquagenic urticaria due to the rarity of aquagenic urticaria and to the very limited data regarding the effectiveness of individual treatments. However, there are treatment options available to alleviate symptoms. First one is antihistamines. So these are the medications used to treat allergy-like symptoms and you may be confused uh, as why we should use antihistamines as there are no histamines released under this condition and that is still under research and you may also use omalizumab an injectable medication typically used for people with severe asthma and this medication has reportedly been tried successfully in a few people with echogenic urticaria you can also use creams or other topical agents that serve as a barrier between water and the skin such as petroleum-based products. This may be used prior to bathing or other exposure to water to prevent water penetration into the skin. You can also use ultraviolet light therapy or also called as phototherapy. So an ultraviolet radiation B have been reported to resolve symptoms of aquagenic urticaria in a few cases. 